we're doing right here, right now. It doesn't necessarily have to be a live stream all across social media. Secret private meetings that we have with fellow members can be yours to replicate as well. In addition, just like how some of our mentors have already taken on the roles of replicating these kinds of content, such as new members orientation, live webinars, which can also be evergreen, by the way, if you want them to be, free mini courses, one day master classes that we've already done, as well as future leaders training, such as this one. These are all available for you to replicate in your own right as well. And here are some of the more exciting parts. When you are an official member of the Protégé team, we will have official profit sharing opportunities. Yes, in addition to us doing our own events, for some of you who may have been with us late last year, you would have remembered that we did a multi-speaker program called Limitless 2021. Now, just so that you know, in 2022, we intend to do this event again. However, not just this event, we have other multiple multi-speaker events that we also want to run. If you want to be featured, not just as a speaker, but also as an event organizer to profit share potentially in our revenue generating projects, this is an opportunity for you. And yes, as we mentioned earlier, Right now, of course, we're doing a lot of virtual stuff, but as soon as the craziness of all the lockdowns are behind us, the borders are open, nothing, and I mean nothing, is gonna stop us from doing our live in-person events again. It could be right here in Malaysia, it could be in Singapore, we'll expand into Thailand, Philippines, Indonesia, India, Vietnam, Korea, Japan, you name it, we're going there, okay? Because all of us, we've been locked down, stuck in Malaysia for the past two plus years now, we're itching to go out and believe you me when I say that once everything is open, we're absolutely going to take full advantage of it. So if you want to travel with us, if you want to be involved, even virtually, if you cannot hop on a plane, it's okay. You are a protege. You are a partner. And so with all of that, the opportunity is absolutely available as long as you are interested and committed. Are you? If you are, type in the word yes inside of the comments. So with that, those are the logistics, the fundamentals of what you might want to think about in the long-term game when it comes to live events. But when it comes to more specific skills, let's say, for example, platform speaking. Let's say you want to be a virtual trainer. Let's say you want to sit in the comfort of your own home, just like how I have been doing for the better half of the last two years. Right? Most of the time, if not all of the time, you would have seen that every single time that I was on live, it was the exact same place, right? I was in my home studio, the same background, everything, and that's because you can stay in one place, reach the entire world, but only if you do it correctly. And so with all of that, I don't want to bore you, in fact, because if we talk about the logistics, it's going to take more than two days of advanced strategies that you need to know in order for you to become one of those advanced speakers, whether live in person, or virtual but for being here today right here right now I do want to cover some basics for you so that you actually have an idea on what is the best way for us to appropriately tackle our next live event so some best practices when we're going live especially if we're doing virtual presentations right what is so important is your equipment write that down equipment Equipment, yes, is the most important. And I'm, I'm not talking about thousands upon thousands of dollars worth of equipment. Some people, they run their live streams, their multi-million dollar business off of nothing except a laptop. A laptop that just so happens to have a webcam, that just so happens to have a microphone, albeit not necessarily the highest quality, but as long as it works and you have the capability, right? to actually go on live with it, then you can start with it, no problem, improve your equipment along the way, that is not an issue. However, of course, in the beginning, you need to make sure that you have the proper equipment. If you're gonna be going live, I cannot stress this enough, okay? Make sure that that equipment, the set equipment that we just talked about, right, that they are turned on. If you don't want to turn on your camera, Okay, for whatever reason, maybe you don't have a camera that is working, maybe you're not camera ready, maybe you didn't put on your makeup or your hair, okay, 
then maybe, just maybe on that particular day, you shouldn't go on live. The reason that you want to go on live is we want to treat this as closely representable as possible to a live in-person experience as much as we can. And if you're simply just talking, do be talking with low quality audio where people can barely hear you, they cannot see you, they don't know what's going on, you might as well not be on live because again, write this down, people will start to do business with you only if they know you, like you, and trust you. No like and trust if they don't know you they don't like you they don't trust you they are not going to do business with you and if they can't see you in the first place they can't hear you properly how can you expect to build that kind of rapport you cannot okay so at the very very basics know that you need to have the camera as well as the microphone equipment working right then and there always be camera ready okay for michael Hey, you got it easy, man. You don't have to do your hair, but for some of us, we do, right? Now, for all of us who need to look a certain way, right? You want to do your hair, you want to do your makeup, make sure that before any live events that you are prepared beforehand because you'll never know, even if you only planned on being a participant, right? Like many of us over here. In fact, I don't know. On my computer, I do not know how many of you are actually join us live right now because the only people that I can see are those who have their camera turned on. So Michael, I see you, Pierre, I see you, I see you, George, I see you, Talk Talk, right? Trader Rob is here. We got a uh, oh, Nicholas just came back. <laughs> Chanel, oh, suddenly we got the Brady Bunch thing going on because everyone's like, oh, I gotta, I'm being noticed, right? You are noticed the entire time, all right? However, if you're not turned on, the camera isn't turned on, we don't see you. Okay, you might as well not be here. So with all of that, right? That interaction is very, very important because, again, know, like, and trust, right? So it goes both ways. Not only do you want your audience to know who you are, but you also want to interact with them. You want to talk to them, call them by name. That's where the engagement actually happens, right? So with that, always be camera, be camera ready. Be presentable as much as you can. Right now, believe it or not, I have about four different cameras that's being pointed at me. In fact, probably five, just that this laptop isn't turned on right now, okay? So with all of that, actually the laptop is turned on, but the camera isn't. So with the five different laptops, the view that you see is with the camera that is right in front of you. But in the recording, you'll see different views. With the final, professional, high quality camera, that's also in a different view. So with that, in the final compilation, right, we're going to have a variety of different clips that we can professionally put together as the compilation to make it a lot more professional. So make sure that you can be as uh, presentable as possible and also in a, in a variety of different respectable camera angles. Now, with that said, okay, if you do, just like me, have a camera right below you, right over there, that's probably not going to be an angle that you're going to want to use. Why? Because every time that I look at this camera, or this camera, or that camera, the one that, by the way, John was using earlier in the introduction, right? He was looking this way. It's right over here. The thing is, every time that I'm looking up or into the audience or talking to anybody, this camera right here is looking straight up my nose. Who wants to see nostril hair? Anybody? Who wants to see boogers and snot? Anybody? I hope not, right? I certainly don't. So with that, make sure that that's what we mean, a respectable angle, right? That either eye level, somewhere to the left, somewhere to the right, at the top, somewhere we can be professional looking, as opposed to some you know, very unflattering angle that nobody wants to see the double chin, sometimes for some of us the triple chin, or whatever else, none of that is by any means anything that we want. We also want to be natural in terms of your speech, be as natural as you can. You do not, and I repeat, you do not want to read, you do not want to memorize, because when you read, people will be able to tell as much as you practice, as good as you think you are, it's just not as natural as if you're actually speaking to an audience. Speaking as if you're talking, having a conversation with a friend, and when you're trying to memorize scripts, or you're trying to act the part, unfortunately, you open up your doors to potential mistakes. What if, what if you forget your line? 
What if you forget what you're supposed to say next, right? It is so hard. I know this from experience, okay? I've made these kinds of mistakes in the past. That's how I know. You forget a line, you cannot just ad lib. You cannot just, you know, progress and try to make things up for it. You forget, you blank out. You blank out and people will look at you while you're staring into the sky, somewhere on the left, into the right, into the middle of nowhere, wondering what the heck is going on, right? So you do not want to put yourself in that position where you're trying to make things so perfect that you put yourself into an imperfect situation all to begin with. Speak as clearly as possible. Now, depending on what kind of microphone that you have, if you have one of these, okay, make sure that if it starts to move by itself, which multiple times, this microphone definitely did, right? You need to be mindful of placing it back directly to where you want it to be in what we consider to be the most ideal position, right? If you have one of the hanging ones that I have whenever I do this at home, or if you have um, a desktop one, right, or wherever else, make sure that you know exactly where that position is so they can best fit that in into your repertoire, and then you can actually make it the best quality sounding as possible. In addition to speaking clearly into the microphone, make sure that you know what you're saying and speak confidently, okay? Don't try and say something and then as you start to wonder what you want to say next, you start to taper off a little bit and you start to mumble and, and you know, this thing, you start mumbling. And people are like, what the heck is going on, man, right? Yes, there will be times when so many things you're thinking about, so many things you're talking about, that your mind is moving a million miles an hour, okay? I know, for example, this happens to Rob. <laughs> Rob has so many different ideas going on, right, Rob? That sometimes, even when he's texting to me, right? He's like, wait, 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 I need to go back, forget I said that, I need to start again, blah, blah. When you're talking, right, this becomes 1,000 times more obvious that you're just racing through your your thoughts, and it hasn't been completely thought through, right? So with that, make sure that you know what you're talking about, and when you're actually doing the communication, okay, that you're speaking completely clearly, as clearly as you can, as confidently as you can, without the mumbling, without the tapering off of your voice because of the confusion in yourself and what you're actually trying to say, but rather know exactly as much as you can what you're gonna say before you say, I'm not saying, that you cannot stutter. I'm not saying that you cannot make mistakes. I'm not saying that you cannot fumble over your words, say ahs or ums, because guess what? I do all the time, all the time. And that's because, yes, I also have words that are racing a million miles an hour, but once that happens enough times, you'll know when and how to stop yourself, take a step back, and continue where you left off hopefully in a much clearer way as how you started in the first place. Also very important, talk continuously. Write that down. Talk continuously, especially when you're transitioning in between thoughts, especially when you're multitasking, especially when you are doing many other things, being distracted like what I'm being distracted many, many times over just the past 10, 15 minutes, all because things are happening, right? All around the room, things are happening around you. That is gonna happen. But as a professional, you will need to, need to get used to, right? You, you need to know that it is expected. And so with that, unless you're deliberately pausing for impact, for some type of effect to collect your thoughts together so that whatever comes out of your mouth next is gonna be so much more impactful, right? Unless that is the reason that you need to pause for a split second, always try to talk as continuously as you possibly can. The reason is we don't want what we call awkward silences. The radio silences, especially if, let's say, for example, um, messing around with my computer, right? And nothing is going right. And I'm saying, wait, hang on a second. I'm trying to share my screen. And I'm trying to do this, and I'm trying to do that, and circle all of this. What I see most people do is they are so engrossed into trying to combat what is going on in the computer screen that they completely ignore the audience, right? That's exactly what you don't want to do. If you notice, 
in my other training, live streams, webinars, any opportunity that I have, and I'm multitasking, doing something, trying to share the screen, talking to somebody, even communicating with people who are around me, I'm always talking, right? There's always constant noise that's coming out of my mouth because you don't want that awkward silence that's going to then make people lose interest in what you have to say. Okay, so again, very, very important because if you want to upkeep that attention, you need to talk continuously without too much in between for breaks. You also don't want to take too long between making your points. If you need to go from point A to point B, it's very important that you try to reach that point as quickly as you can, especially if you're going to be representing group Asia. There's going to be so many things, so many things that we're going to want them to do, right? We want them to go to groupasia.cm and sign up for a free code. We're going to go to groupasia.cm forward slash JV, right, and get their affiliate links. Check out the Freedom Day report. Check out the, the Group Asia report. Check out all the webinars and mini courses and the Groovathon and the webinar links and the, you know, one day event links, the one day intensive, the new members orientation, you name it, right? So many potential call to actions that we want to give them, but we don't want to confuse them. We want to be clear, right? So with that, what you'll notice is as much as possible, I don't succeed every single time, but as much as possible, we try and give them as clear a call to action as we possibly can. And that's why, right, usually at the end of every single one of my presentations, my webinars, my live streams, my videos, I say, take action right now, right? Because there's that call to action that we need them to take, but without that confusion of them asking, well, which call to action are you actually talking about, right? So we need that one call to action that's gonna take them from point A to point B, tell them exactly what it is that they need to do. Now, with all that said, yes, we're gonna try, right, and be as, as polished as we can, as smooth as possible. But one thing that you need to know is that it is almost impossible for us to have what we call a perfect presentation. Perfection simply does not exist. Because regardless of how well you think you did, after reviewing yourself, there's always gonna be additional things that, oh, if I just make this small little change right there, it might make a slightly different impact, right? Will it be better? Maybe, maybe not. So when it comes to perfection, there's never really a way for us to know how or when or why it can be perfect, right? It will never be perfect, but what we can do is always test new things and try to be improving as much as you can. With that said, this also means that you'll try, of course, to plan as much as possible. But even when things don't go as planned, a lot of times, right, there's two different possibilities for you. Now, if let's say, for example, my camera isn't working, or I'm trying to switch to different things, or I'm not able to share my screen, right, that's when you try to talk over all the different things that you're doing, and it's gonna come with practice, right? You're gonna improve along the way with practice. But here's the interesting part, right? If you do it smoothly enough, and you're talking, and you're explaining, you're interacting and engaging at the same time, a lot of times, most people won't even know that things are wrong in the first place. So you don't need to make the announcement, oh, bear with me, folks. I'm trying to do this thing, and I'm trying to make this better, and I'm trying to improve, and this isn't working well, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to announce this every single time, okay? Because chances are, if you don't tell people that something is wrong, most people won't even realize that something is wrong. But with that said, if it is something that cannot be, cannot be avoided, let's say you only have one camera and that camera is flickering, right? Or the camera just doesn't turn on or the lighting goes completely bad or the microphone doesn't work, right? These are all things that you cannot escape. And so with that, I think uh, a lot of people have learned from some of the best speakers in the world, right? They say that, oh yeah, when things go wrong, you don't want to let them know that things go wrong. In fact, what you might wanna do is not only acknowledge it, but pretend that it's a part of the show, right? Now, it's a good idea if you think that you can pull it off, 
it's a good idea if you have the experience to do so, but it's not so much a good idea if it's things that are out of your control. How can you actually say that you losing electricity or you losing Wi-Fi or the screen going blank or the computer shutting down and you just get the blue screen of the, how can you really say that that is according to your plan, right? You can't, it is not possible. So with that, we acknowledge that things go wrong, but when things go wrong, we have backups whenever possible. We have a backup, so when you're going live, right, have somebody back there ready to jump on if let's say you start to stutter, if let's say that your Wi-Fi goes down, if let's say that you have a bad reception and people cannot hear what you're saying because your Wi-Fi is going <laughs> right? And everyone is just staring there watching you as you try to struggle with your internet, well, it's at that point in time where it would be a good idea to have a backup jump onto the screen and say, oh, it looks like Nicholas is having a little bit of a technical difficulty, folks. So if you have any questions in the meantime, let us know inside the comments. Let us address them and let's give Nicholas a few minutes to go ahead and get those things ready or get the problem fixed on his end, right? So with all that, we try and be as clear as we can in regards to what is actually possible and what it is that we want to do. Now, in the interest of time, I know that we have only about one hour left. The good news is that for certain kinds of information that I had planned for you right here, right now, it's actually something that you can check out in our recent mini course on the topic of virtual speaking. If you go to groovasia.cm forward slash JV, Okay, once again, that's groovasia.cm forward slash JV. If one of our mentors would be so kind and type that in into the comments, groovasia.cm forward slash JV, you scroll down and you see inside of your promotional links that there is a recent mini course that is called the virtual speaker mini course. I invite you to watch that replay. Thank you very much, Nicholas. As you can see, groovasia.cm forward slash JV. I invite you to go and watch that replay of that mini course called the virtual speaker mini course because as again, we anticipated about three hours. I think we over delivered to about five or six hours, something like that, all because of our willingness to over deliver. So with all of that, um, it also happened to be on a weekend. It also happened to be on Chinese New Year that day, I believe. So you know, with all these things considered, we still over deliver, so hopefully, you can go back there, watch the recording, appreciate it because there's a lot of content that you should learn in regards to how to further your particular skills as an affiliate marketer and also as a live stream and webinar speaker as well. So with all of that, I recommend that when possible, go through there, okay, and check out our content about how you should prepare for a virtual event. In summary though, of this particular slide, preparation is essential in order for you to maximize the professionalism of your overall live stream, your webinar, and otherwise a virtual event. Okay, write that down. Preparation is essential. Preparation is essential. What you want to do is you do not, you absolutely do not want to make yourself come off as somebody who is unprepared, have not practiced, don't know what's going on, because once you're there, right, you're not only representing yourself, you're also representing Group Asia. You're representing our community. You are representing every single one of us. What this means is that it is your responsibility to make sure that you are as prepared as you can and not the last minute kind of preparation, right? Oh, it's about 30 minutes, five minutes, an hour before I go live. Okay, now let's see what I need to be prepared for. No, be prepared for anything as much as possible in far as advanced as you can. Just to give you an idea, okay? Remember the SEO program that I mentioned that we're planning to do? Well, guess what? That program I put together I believe in October or November of last year in anticipation of whenever we're actually gonna be doing it, right? So as much time as possible, not like a day before, not even a week before, as long as you can, 
as much time to prepare and practice as possible, you want that time. You need that time, okay? Because as, as the time draws closer, okay, the more you need to prepare, the more you'll be stressed out about, the more things you will forget in terms of what that preparation is. So if you have an SOP or whatever it is that you need to do, make sure that you follow it. Of course, if you need to have account access, whether it's Zoom, whether it's StreamYard, Restream, or anything else, get that login as soon as possible, okay? As soon as you can. Do not wait until moments before you're supposed to be going live and they're saying, okay, so who's actually the host of this event so that he or she can enter me into the room and start the meeting, right? Make sure that you have access to all of that way beforehand. Be familiar with the technology. Do not try and learn something overnight. Do not try and figure things out 30 minutes, an hour before you actually go live because there's going to be so many things that can go wrong that in that last minute, sometimes you might even have time to be able to go through all those different things. Test your equipment, your platform, your internet. Make sure that your Wi-Fi is suitable. Make sure that your equipment is compatible, that when you plug in your microphone, plug in your camera, that your Zoom account, your stream, your restream, or anything else, it's able to recognize it. Because otherwise, it's not going to work, right? Especially if you're going to be working with teams, a good idea is to plan out your schedule. Know exactly when you're going to be taking breaks, if any. I know that for today, we're not taking that many breaks, if at all, right? Because it's an ongoing thing for the last eight hours almost, right? Seven, eight hours just continue to talk because this is the kind of over delivery kind of content that we want to share with you and we don't want any downtime. But if let's say you have these five minute breaks or, or 10 minute breaks and you wanna play music in between, you have the commercials that we play from time to time, right? In some of our other events that maybe you should be familiar about or we have other things that you want to play, make sure that you have those prepared that you have them ready, that ha you have them tested, okay, the graphics, the thumbnails, make sure everything is approved, reviewed, and uploaded all at once, everything is prepared, right? Coordinate your backups just in case anything goes wrong or if you go dark, again, if for whatever reason I lose my power, my Wi-Fi, my electricity, right? Everything is gonna go dark and it would absolutely suck, absolutely suck for everybody involved, right? If I know, that I have a better peace of mind that Nicholas, Michael, Talk Talk, right? Dylan, Karen, Michelle, George, you guys and gals are all right behind the scenes and you can jump up on there and say, hey, guess what? Looks like we have a temporary te technical difficulty, folks, right? Stay tuned, we will be right back. But in the meantime, if you do have any questions, put them down inside of the comments, let us know what they are and we'll do what we can to help you along the way, right? At least we have a better peace of mind that we have backup and we also know that you um, are there as well. So keep in mind, it's all very, very important, all right? Log in at least an hour before, do as much as you can, just like what we did today, right? An hour before we open up the room, we said, hey, mentors, protégés, come on in, let's have a briefing, let's have a meeting, let's talk about everything that you need to know, right? And then right before, the doors are open, everyone turns off their camera, everyone is ready, the music starts to play, and then we open up the room and, starts to, and, and we start to welcome the audience, right? So all these things, obviously, in terms of the appropriate SOP on your specific event, right? You need to make sure that you know what they are and be prepared for that. At least 30 minutes, an hour if possible. For us, we just way went, went way above and beyond, prepare for 90 minutes, um, going live before we actually um, open up the rooms as well, okay? Speaking of opening up the rooms, once the rooms are open, we said that, hey, let's schedule this for 2 p.m. GMT plus 8, 10 a.m. GMT plus 8, or, or 11 p.m. EST, or whatever time frame, right? Make sure that you start on time as much as possible, unless, you know, things that you cannot help. Again, technical difficulties, right? People just didn't show up or the speaker isn't there for whatever reason you cannot prepare yourself in time to start. Those are the only reasons why you shouldn't start on time. But otherwise, start on time as much as possible. Make sure that all the trainers and moderators are ready as well because you need to communicate with each other as much as possible. Here's the other thing, okay? 
yes, we have communicated this with our mentors, with our protégés, and anybody who wants to be an aspiring leader. But if, if this is something that you should know, is that as leaders, as live virtual speakers, we're also marketers. Write that down. We are marketers. What does it mean that we are marketers? What this means is that as marketers, we need to develop our team who would be able to communicate with as many people as we can about the start of the event that we're going live. Hey folks, right? You go inside of your groups. Hey folks, we're on live now, okay? As a leader, as a protege, as a mentor, it is our responsibility to make sure that we go on social media, even in our own profiles, take a snapshot, right? Take a screenshot, take a photo, take a selfie of yourself in front of the computers. I am so excited to be joining this two-day train the trainer program that's gonna teach us how to be protégés and business partners of multi-million dollar corporations, right? Share this on social media, tag them, tag these posts, with all the people who are around you, the trainers, the leaders, the mentors, fellow members who are attending with you, right? This is exactly what you need to do as marketers, and this is something that we teach all of our, all of our team members. It's especially important that you do all of these as well in preparation. All right, so with all of that, I think that it is essential for us to know what those next steps are. In terms of what it is that you need to prepare yourself for, I think that a lot of times, what we're most unprepared for is when we are working with different presenters. When we're working with different presenters, for, for example, you will notice that recently in the GLU, right, we see that Nicholas is joining forces with Annie, is just joining forces with um, Ching Yu and Dylan and George, and Karen was in one of them, and so was Michael. The more people that we start to work with, the more problematic potentially it can be, right? So one thing that we need to realize is that with the more cooks who are in the kitchen, the more communication and the more preparation needs to be prepared beforehand. When you have multiple presenters, make sure, and I'm not talking about 10 minutes, 30 minutes, even an hour before your event starts, right? You need to meet up with your co-presenters beforehand as much time as possible, as many times as possible, as much time to allocate for your preparation as you can. Because when it comes to chemistry, when it comes to working together, yes, that takes practice. Okay, so when you have multiple presenters, make sure that you meet up with your co-presenters beforehand, allow adequate time, especially for your preparation. Plan out what each of you will want to say during the presentation and going back to the awkward silence that we talked about earlier, right? One thing that you absolutely do not want to do is when you pass the baton and you say to the next person, all right, I want to introduce up this next person who's gonna be talking about X, Y, and Z. Let's all welcome Annie to the stage, right? And then at that point in time, Annie then unmutes herself, then turns on the camera, then waits, hello, hello, can you hear me, can you hear me, right? Am I on, can you see me, is everything okay? That is what we call a disastrous transition, all right? You don't want any of those things. If you take a look, and I recommend, anytime that we have one of our webinars, anytime that we have one of our G Lives with special guests, our um, mini course, right? Anytime, as much as possible, we have that smooth transition where I tell the speaker, right, our co-presenter, hey, when I start to talk about you, before I even introduce you and pass the ball over to you, unmute yourself ahead of time. Turn on your camera. Make sure that by the time that I say, here's Annie, right, by that time, boom, right there, you say, hello, everybody, right? In that split second, you don't want that downtime to play any role in that transition. Does that make sense? If that makes sense, type in the word yes inside the comments. You want that transition to be as close and smooth as possible, as if you're throwing the ball back and forth, okay, without that downtime, that radio silence, that hello, 
Can you hear me? Hello, is everything? Yeah, hello, hello, is, are you there? Am I there? Is anyone there, right? You need to make sure that all this hellowing and testing and yes, no, maybe so is done beforehand the moment that you are throwing the ball. Hello, thank you very much. Congratulations for your time here. I'm so excited for our presentation here today. This is what I will be covering. All right, so we want that transi transition to happen almost instantaneously. Turn on your webcam, unmute yourself before you're even queued. Avoid small talk when you're talking to each other. You see, one thing we need to realize is that when we are on the screen side by side, together, Brady Bunch style, whatever else, is not, and I repeat, it is not a conversation, okay? It is not a conversation just between the two, three, four, five of you. It is not just a regular meeting that you're having. It is a presentation. It is a show. You are being seen. All eyes are on you at that point in time. Nobody wants to see you chit chat. Hi, George. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine, Annie. Thank you very much. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great as well. It is a wonderful day. Is it cold over there where you are? The audience does not care. All right. If you have content, if you have things to share, go straight to the point. Avoid the small talk. Okay. Don't ask them, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? If you have something of clarity, of value that you ultimately want to show, want to see, want to share, dive right into that, okay? It's very important because time is always of the essence. You think that, oh, wow, I'm up here. Today's event is eight hours long. What in the world am I going to talk about for eight hours? What in the world are we going to cover from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m.? It is now 9.05 p.m. with less than one hour to go. And let me tell you, if it were up to me, I will have at least another two or three hours with you. But again, we cannot go until midnight. We have to start our next session at 10 a.m. tomorrow already. So as much as we want to over deliver as much as possible, we also want to respect your time. All right. So with that, just know that the more you do this, the more knowledgeable you are, the more experienced, the more value you will have to share. Time is not going to be an issue. So don't worry about wanting to blow off steam or waste time or try to cover for time or to make up for time or whatever else. Talk naturally. The more that you converse, the more that you share, okay, the better you're going to get at it. You will never, and I repeat, never run out of content because I can go on for hours and hours and hours. I go on for days and days and days at a time, and I can because of the amount of value that we want to continue to share. We want to engage with you as well. We want to answer your questions, but as you can see, we don't have time to do all those things, right? And so with all of that, just focus on your task at hand. Make sure that when you're communicating with one another, just go straight to the point and do what it is that you can do. Making sure that your energy level is in sync with one another. During the actual mini course the other day, right, we talked about how your energy is very important. Of course, it's great if you can to have that high energy, right, because if you are on the screen in front of the video, right, as opposed to live and in person, the thing is, no matter how energetic you are live and in person, through the camera lens, about one-tenth of the energy only is being shown through. In other words, about 90% of your energy is being sucked in and sucked away into the middle of nowhere thanks to the camera. So if at all possible, if you're normally kind of low-key, you want to be a little bit more energetic on camera. If you're already energetic on camera and you want to basically as if in live person, motivate people, inspire people, then now on camera, you gotta be 10 times even more enthusiastic, even more loud, even more, to some people, intimidating, right? Because in this case, you need that energy to shine through to the other person on the other side of the camera. But here's the thing, okay? Here's something that's very important, especially 
when you're working together as a team and in Group Asia, especially within the Scholarship Program, you will be working together as a team. You see all the GLUs, right? All the G Lives and so many more. We're working together as a team already. What you don't want is that discrepancy of the energy. Okay? We can have any. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Let's go ahead and make sure that we change our lives. George, what do you think? And then George goes, Yes, yes, Annie. I, I agree. I think this would be absolutely awesome. And I think that you know, we are going to change lives. Yes, we are. Yes, we are, says Annie. Do you see a little bit of an energy conflict in that, right? Even if it's not planned, even if it's something that's like up and down and whatever, and it captures your attention, the discrepancy is so wide that it is more entertaining and people catch that discrepancy as opposed to consuming your value, right? It's, it gets lost in the translation. The value goes missing in the middle of that transition. So that's where the practice comes in, right? Hey, Annie, either you tone it down or George, kick it up a notch, right? One or the other. But what you don't want is someone who's all the way up here, followed by someone who's all the way down here, and then more people who join us who are playing this yo-yo game, right? That is something that you don't want because unfortunately, it's gonna be so weird and so awkward that people are not gonna pay attention to your content anymore. So make sure that especially when you're presenting with multiple people that you know how each other present, not just be mindful of your own style, but be mindful of each other's style so that you can play off each other and accommodate as much as possible. Speaking of, be mindful, okay? Be mindful on the time, prepare for another smooth transition to the next person whenever necessary. Do not go overboard, right? Because I know that for me, definitely, I tend to go over time, right? Because there's so much to share. And even though Sam's in the back of the room, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, five minutes, when he says time's up and I'm not anywhere near done, unfortunately, I can't just stop there, right? I gotta continue, I gotta finish it off before I transition it back to Ching Yu or Terrence or John or whomever else, right? So with that, make sure that you're as mindful on the time as you possibly can be. Otherwise, we go on for an extra hour or two hours and nobody wants to get stuck there for no apparent reason, right? A good note to keep, okay? Keep an eye out on the main communication platform for any important messages directed to you while presenting. And I'm not just talking about the regular comments that you interact, like if you are interested in this, then type in interested. If you like me, type one. If you don't like me, type two, right? You know, if you don't know who I am, type in zero because you are zero to me, right? That is great. If you want to interact and engage with your audience, then yes, absolutely. That's the best way, especially four hours, five hours, eight hours, maybe even longer types of trainings, right? You need to make sure that you're as engaging as you can. Otherwise, you know, sometimes you see, um, I was going to say, uh, sometimes, and, and Nicholas would know this, I think, uh, I forgot what it, which event it was, we see Trader Rob, right? Maybe because we bored him. Today, I'm trying to look for Trader Rob, trying to see if he's awake. I don't see him turn on his camera. Maybe he's gone already, right? I don't know. But regardless of the case, Oh, he's here. Oh, he's actually in the car. He's awake, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give Mr. Trader Rob a round of applause. But I believe, I think it might have been the, the Freedom Day event or um, some other event where he was actually in the back. He was presenting. He was co-presenting with me. And it was like the middle of the night for him. But then in the camera, he had it turned on. I see him doing this the entire time for the last three or four hours, right? That's the last thing you want to see from anybody, including your audience, including your co-presenters, including yourself. So make sure that you are as mindful on the platform as you, as you can be on the interaction. But in addition to that, okay, also keep an eye out on where you interact with your team. With your team. Because sometimes you have interactions, especially if we're not in a live physical setting like this. If my mic was muted the entire time, Nobody can hear me, and I don't know. I can go on for hours and hours and hours, and if I don't pay attention to the comments, I don't pay attention to you, I don't pay attention to my team or chess or anything, I could be talking for hours. And believe me, when I tell you, unfortunately, it's happened, not to me, but I know people that it's happened to where they talk for so long, or miss sometimes even like they, they give like one hour or longer lectures, only to realize that their mic never turned out in the first place. It happened both live where people never heard them, and it also happened while they were recording, so that 
they never heard any of the videos, okay, the audio in the video. That does happen. Okay, so it's also very important that if at all possible, you have that communication platform with the team so that if anything is wrong, they cannot see you. Your screen is stuck. Your browser is stuck. You're sharing your screen, but nothing's working. They cannot hear you. You're stuttering. Your, your Wi-Fi, internet connection is clunky, right? They need to tell you, and you need to know that it's not working well, right? So with that, make sure that you do keep an eye out on that communication. Now, speaking of audience interaction, this can also be something that is considered pretty important because as we mentioned, this is what's gonna keep the audience retention. Unless they're really, really excited, unless they're driving, unless they're you know, doing something else, unless it's the middle of the day for them and they have no real reason to do anything else but to pay attention to you, a lot of times, most people will be multitasking. They'll be watching a webinar at the same time as listening to you. They might be chatting on Facebook, doing email, working, writing articles, blogging, building sites with group, who knows, right? They could be doing a million things all at the same time. And that is why that interaction with the audience is important. Usually, when there is a disruption, such as a call to action. Hey, do you guys want to learn more about how to make more money online? By the way, if you do, type in online inside the comments. Type in online inside the comments, right? When you have a call to action similar to that and people hear it, <laughs> and now you see Pierre and Dylan and Annie, see you're interacting, right? Even though you might be paying attention and listening to what I'm saying or whatever else you might be doing, the thing is, it's a call to action. It encourages a trigger. It gets you to stop what you're doing at that point in time, go to your keyboard and start typing something in, right? So even if somebody is doing something else, that's almost like an invisible lasso, if you will, that is thrown, catches them by the neck, pulls them in, oh, looks like I need to do something right here, right now, right? So with that, interact with their audience. Give them that call to action. Make sure that they participate as much as possible. Now, how you want to participate with them, it really is up to you, right? For me personally, I like to do a lot of uh, you know, leaving comments and typing the ones or things like that. Um, some people, and I actually recommend this for the longer day trainings where it's you know, eight hours, 10 hours, and people are staring at you for hours and hours at a time. If you have a screen in front of you and you see all the people, you can actually ask them, right? Turn on your camera so that you can say, you know, if you're interested for X, Y, and Z, raise your hand, right? So when you have a call to action, like a raise your hand or give me a number one or an okay or a thumbs up, right? Something like that. Well, now is your other opportunity, right? To interact with them. You see Michael going thumbs up as well. You know, Nicholas is kind of doing that. And then, like, should I do this? Should I not do this? Uh, okay, okay, la, as uh, Nicholas is starting to adapt to the, <laughs> the Asian way. Okay, la, right? And then Annie, I saw you as well. So yes, all these kinds of interactions are additional ways that you can consider to do. Now, if you wanna be a little bit more, for lack of better terms, right? More intrusive, as in more intimidating, right? It can intimidate, intimidate them uh, a little bit more. Live engagement might be inviting them to turn on their camera and even turn on their microphone and start to have that back and forth interaction, right? Granted, and keep in mind, not everybody is going to be camera ready. Not everybody is going to be comfortable. Not even everybody will have the right equipment to be able to turn on their cameras or their microphones, right? So keep that in mind. If you are going to have that kind of interaction, make sure that you prepare them beforehand that this might happen. Even better is if you work directly and talk to these people specifically and say, hey, during the presentation, we're going to interact with you. So be prepared to turn on your microphone, right? Because the last thing that we want is to have a whole bunch of different people who are not expecting to interact, and then one by one by one, we call on them. And it takes them 10 seconds to realize that they've been called on, 30 seconds to find out how they can unmute the microphone, and another 20 seconds to actually click on a button, finally another 35 seconds to turn on their webcam, and then another one or two minutes of, hello, hello, can you hear me? Is this working? Is this fine? Is this okay, right? That is the last thing that we want, especially, again, when you have a global audience watching you, waiting for you to deliver content, right? So yes, interact as much as you can. 
the best kind of interaction is what we said earlier, right? With, with John saying, hey, Dylan, can you share with us X, Y, and Z? And then Annie comes on and starts to interview Dylan and, and George comes on and Tara came on and Karen came on, right? That is absolutely the best kind of interaction because you're hearing from different kinds of people. But keep in mind, once again, if they're not prepared for it, we don't want those awkward silences, right? Those weird transition periods that we were talking about earlier that is absolutely what you do not want. So with that, live engagement can be considered relevant, but keep in mind, not everybody would be comfortable. So with all of that, right, with all these things being said, yes, in combination with all the strategies, the basics of live event organization that we talked about today, the fundamentals of how you should create your own communication style, let's just say, right, your own communication style, style, how energetic you should be, what kind of persona you should represent. Yes, all the fundamentals were also covered during the virtual speaking mini course. And in addition, how you can best interact with the audience. At the end of the day, all the strategies that we share with you so far is important for you if you want to learn how to become a good speaker, right? A good speaker now why do i put speaker in quotes because quite frankly anybody can be a speaker right if you can speak if you talk if you want to have a conversation with friends over dinner on the phone you're technically speaking right so anybody who can talk they can be a speaker you agree if you agree type in the word agree inside the comments the thing with being a speaker is that if you want to become a speaker versus if you want to be a profitable speaker. Aha. That's where the difference comes in. My question to you, how many of you want to become a profitable speaker? If you do, type in the word profitable inside of the comments. Type in the word profitable inside of the comments. Because if you want to become a much better representative of not only what we do right here in Groove Asia, but beyond that, do the actual live events that we we're talking about. If you remember the multi-speaker events that we did last year, the sponsored events, all the additional events that we we're talking about earlier, that's going to include people like Coach Deb and other professional speakers all around the world live on the stage if you even want to as well, maybe not even where we are. But quite frankly, who knows? We might even come to your neck of the woods. I've traveled to 15, 16 countries. In fact, 15, 16 countries a year in my past life, right? That's what we used to do. Every single week, I would be in a different country. So what's to say that we won't be doing it again in one year's time, in two years' time, and who knows? One of the future plans may be in your neck of the woods, right? How great would it be if by then, you will already have the skill to become a successful, profitable speaker who can also share the stages with all these top name experts who will fly to your country and see you while also giving you an open invitation to fly around the world with us and tour the globe together as well. How great would that be? Would it be great for you? If you will, type in the word great inside of the comments. Pierre says become a world-class speaker. Yes, that's right. So with all of that, just know that the fundamentals of speaking is so much more than just what we call presentation skills, right? Presentations as in, yes, I'm sitting here and whether I'm looking into the camera or I'm looking into the audience that is standing right in front of me or sitting in front of me right now, I have that eye contact. I know what to do with my hands. I know how to project my voice and speak to anybody as if I'm talking to a global audience or if I really needed to talk to you specifically as if you are the only person in the room right all these things are great as a presenter but what if what if you want to be so much more because the truth of the matter is that a speaker is just like anyone else like we said anybody can speak anybody can talk but only only professionals who know what they're doing only professionals can command authority. Write that down. 
Only professionals can command authority. And only when you can command authority will you be able to become a profitable speaker, to become successful, to monetize this actual skill. Because without authority, I don't know you. I can't trust you. I sure as heck don't like you. Why should I buy from you? Why should I make you money? Whether or not I'm the person who's actually spending the money, investing in the money, why should I contribute into your bottom line, into a business, if I don't know you, like you, and trust you in the first place? In order for you to gain all of that, you need authority. The way that you can gain authority, even without the credentials of being a best-selling book author, a global, worldwide speaker, an award-winning international you know, best-selling author and entrepreneur and all that great stuff, even if you're just a newbie, right, and you don't have that perception of authority, people also cannot know that they can trust you. But if, on the other hand, the moment that you walk into a room or the moment that the camera turns on and all you do is you shine, right, you reek of authority, of positive energy, you know exactly if you wanted to how to control your voice, how you can speak with power and conviction in the right tonality whenever necessary. Knowing when to talk, how to talk, and when and how to speak in ways that you need to, right? Knowing how to control the room all on its own, that is how you will command Simon, you're muted. There you go. See exactly why you want a team in front of you, okay? So with all of that, just know that, of course, technical difficulties will happen all the time, and that is exactly why virtual speaking is a completely different animal, right? I touch nothing, nothing happened, and it's not the first time either. It just mutes you, and then it doesn't work to unmute, and then you need somebody else to help you. But regardless of the case, right, as I was talking about, right, that's why communication goes way beyond speaking. Why? Because sometimes people can't even hear you speak, right? They can't even hear you because you're muted. But if you have the other elements in place, such as the eye contact and not just any other eye contact, not just staring at the camera the entire time. In fact, you don't want to stare at the camera the entire time. When we say, yes, you want the authority, depends how intimidating you want to be. You don't actually don't want to be all the intimidating all the time, right? The way that you look at the camera, if you want to squint just a little bit, if sometimes you lose the eye contact, look at your computer on purpose, stare into the audience and look around on purpose, even if there's nothing there, right? But at a glimpse, look back into the camera. This is a strategy all on, on all its own. Some people, they take that to a little bit of a, another level, right? They start staring into the camera. They start staring a hole into the camera where it's just like almost uncomfortable for somebody to look at, right? Especially with big bulging eyes and you're just staring in and you're not even blinking, right? Know how to make the right kind of eye contact that's gonna give you the authority without being overly intimidating. Your body language, right? If you don't know how to use your hands, you don't know how to move your body, right? The right way, your entire time, kind of slouchy, not really moving, not really having a confident posture, right? I, I absolutely do not, by the way. I have one of the worst postures because I've been an internet marketer ever since 1997. For the past 20 plus years, I've been slouching 
over a laptop. That's just the way that I've been making my living for over two decades, right? So with all of that, just know that when you are presenting yourself, you need to present yourself almost as if you are a completely different persona. You know that all eyes are on you, right? So you, 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 you evoke a completely different persona. I normally, of course, would not talk to this, talk like this, or in this voice, projecting to my friends if I'm just speaking to them, right? If I'm just having a meeting or hanging out, I'm not gonna say, hey, so Mr. Nicholas, did you know that on this day 20 years ago was one of the first things that I started internet marketing? And yes, believe you me when I tell you that this is something that you absolutely want to do as well. Do you think that I would talk like this with my friends? No. Absolutely not, right? Nicholas would know because there are plenty, plenty of situations where we had those personal, you know, one on one meetings. And he would tell you completely switched, right? A switch of a light, light switch. So, with that, a completely different person, right? So, knowing how to present yourself in the right way with the right gestures, using your emotions, whether it's happy emotions, whether it's angry emotions, whether it's motivational kind of emotion, right? Everything can contribute towards the sharing of your message. And with that, always tell stories, right? Telling stories on um, the best way that you can edify somebody, connect with the audience, let people in into a piece of your life. You will notice that almost every single time that I introduce a brand new person, let's say to the stage, it's not always just like so, so and so, is an expert in X, Y, and Z. You'll be able to catch this person on Facebook as well as some live shows here and there. And they're very, very good at doing, you know, um, internet marketing or podcasting or whatever else. Usually I go in into stories of how we met. I edify them. I make sure that the audience know the reason why I vouch for them in the first place. That's why not all the time, but many times, especially one of the first times where I officially introduced them, they come up on stage and they say things like, oh, wow, I can't believe that was such a great introduction, right? That was one of the best intros that I've heard in a very long time. And some people say, I think uh, one of the first times that I introduced Terrence a couple of weeks ago, it's like, I've, um, I'm so humbled, right, by what you mentioned. So it's always a matter of you doing your job, telling stories, edifying, and assuming that the other person... <laughs> assuming that the other person doesn't have the ability or miss out on the chance to edify themselves, to get the audience to know them, like them, and trust them, right? Now you, you take on that responsibility and you take on that ownership to tell stories to make that happen. But more importantly, when you combine all these things, right? You combine all these things in a chronological order, in a strategic method, knowing what you need to do in order for you to, again, with conviction, with authority, talk to an audience, get them to know you, like you, and trust you on a product, a service, a brand, a business that you know that you can count on, that you have the confidence will help other people, right? Becoming a successful speaker, a profitable speaker, also means that you need to have the skill of platform selling. To be able to make an offer, whether virtually or live on the actual platform stage, on a seminar stage, right? Sell things, not for $5 or $7 or $10, where unfortunately, many of the you know, speakers these days, they have to go that route because I guess they never really had that sell skill in the first place, but because they still wanted to increase that value and share that value and, and deliver content to their people, right? While still being able to make a living at the same time, build their brand at the same time, build their businesses at the same time, they sacrifice themselves, right? They sacrifice potentially thousands of dollars worth of value in content and training in exchange for just a few bucks. Now, if you ask me, it's not fair. It's not fair to them because they're valued so much more, right? It's doing them an injustice, but it's also unfair to the audience, to the customers, because number one, some people will see the low number, the low amount and say, it's so cheap, it must not be any good, right? 
And so they lose out on that opportunity to learn. And the other flip side is that for those who invest just say five or 10 bucks, it's nothing to them. It doesn't pain them, right, to actually invest in this. And so with that said, they're not gonna take it seriously. It might as well be free, right? They're not gonna take it seriously. They're not gonna learn anything. They're not gonna apply, implement. It's just gonna be a waste of their time, a waste of time of the trainer, and a waste of everybody's time. So that's not what you want. You need to have the skill to know how to share that value, deliver that value, contribute, change the world, want to change the world, and with the ability to sell on the platform stages. The good news is that collectively as a team, we have been able to do that very, very well in the market where today people are struggling just to make five, seven, ten dollar sales. We can make thousands of dollars in sales. And for some of us, like Chin Yu, right, he can do it just over chat. So with something like that, it is near impossible unless you have a certain set of skills to be able to provide so much value that you can truly monetize your skill as a successful speaker. Do you want to monetize your skill to be a successful speaker? If you do, type in the word monetize inside of the comments because for the remaining 30 minutes or so, while we still have you here, we want to remind you that once again, if you want to take that next step to learn everything that you need to, to become that successful, profitable speaker who can monetize this skill not only for yourself but together as a team to become an inner circle member to work with us alongside profit sharing partners to become a shareholder potentially in the future in our companies to gather ceo titles cto titles or any other cso cfo cmo cro c whatever o c x y z o right or whatever else right these are all abilities and opportunities that you have as a potential member of our protege team so if right now Let's just say you are already a member of our protege team. You are confirmed. You're 90% confirmed. You're in, okay? You're waiting for the next step. You're waiting for more information about how you can access that 10 a.m. training tomorrow. Type in the word um, protege into the comments so that we know that you are in. Type in the word protege inside the comments. And on the flip side, if let's say there's just a few more of you who joined us recently, who's hearing about the Protégé program, either for the very first time, today's the first day that you actually knew of its existence, you want more information, you want Ching Yu to reach out to you or vice versa. You reach out to Ching Yu yourself, but regardless of the case, you want to make sure that you do not miss out because quite literally, in about 12 hours from now, it will officially be too late. Let me say that one more time. In 12 hours from now, it will be too late because we will officially start our very first training of train a trainer in 12 hours from right here, right now. Our room will be open. And if you somehow missed out in that training, this protege program will not open again until at least, at least 2023. At least 2023. Okay. So will you? Be looking back a year from now, six months from now, three months from now, a few weeks from now, looking back and saying, I am so glad that I took that action, right? I believe that everything happens for a reason. And you're here right here, right now, here today with that final push, that final last minute opportunity. This literally is the last time we're going to be talking about this. And before today is over, I am confident that we will close out our program already. So if you believe that everything happens for a reason, you want to look back and be yourself right here, right now, as somebody that you know your future self is going to thank you for, okay? Because you made that decision to become a protege right here, right now, then this is your opportunity to do so. Here's the thing, official details about our brand new protege program 2022, the plan ever since the beginning is we did not want to work with more than 10 people directly specifically one-on-one -on -one, because this is not just any program 
It's not just any program where we say, yes, the more the merrier. Let's make it public. Anybody who wants to come in, feel free. We are working with you directly. We are spending time with you. We are investing in you directly. All right, so with that, the original plan is we don't want more than 10 to work with this entire year. The good news is that ever since we started talking about this, just within the last 24 to 48 hours, we just decided to launch three, not one, not two, but three brand new projects in Q3 of this year where potentially we may or may not want to have additional protégés just because there's so much opportunity. We know that there's enough value to go around for everybody. And so with that, we're gonna handpick maybe 10, maybe less to work with this year, but it's not gonna be, right here, you actually see a minimum of six, 12 months. The reason why we say that is because legally, we're supposed to put a time limit on it. Here's the thing. For anyone who might have worked with me in the past, you would know that I have protégés in my past partnerships that I'm still working with and have been working with for over 10 years. And so with that, that just goes to show a little bit more about my type of commitment in those who are within my own inner circle. Only legally am I supposed to say six to 12 months, but chances are it's gonna be longer than that. In fact, of course, we're planning to create multi-million dollar companies and projects together, right? It is my personal goal for you to make sure that you continue on in our ongoing partnership opportunities as well. Our priority, of course, in addition to event organization and doing going into the fintech space, things into the technology field and everything else, the one skill that I personally believe is the priority and should be prioritized over everything else because this skill is so essential in order for you to grow any kind of business, okay? This is the one skill that we will be focusing first. It will be on the topic of professional speaker, in other words, train the trainer. This will include how to not only become a virtual presenter, just like what I'm technically doing right now, but in addition, I will also share with you the secrets to platinum platform selling so that you can make your own programs if you wanted to. You can create your own courses and will even provide you the training and the opportunities to go onto the world stages or and the webinars and sell your own programs yourself so that this can be additional streams of income for yourself. Do you want additional streams of income? If you do, type in income inside of the comments. But don't get me wrong, just because we're focusing our priority right here, right now on the train the trainer first, it doesn't mean that that's the only thing that we're gonna be sharing with you. Over the course of the weekend, we'll get started on event organization, but as time goes on, we'll also talk to you more about live seminars, as well as live webinars, personal sales closing, including private strategies to learn from Ching Yu on how he was able to close 70, 80, 90% of everybody that we give them, whether again, via chat, whether personally, one-on-one -on -one meetings, over the phone, Zoom meetings, or wherever else, using his strategies to close 70 to 90% in thousands upon thousands USD online and offline. Do you wanna learn how to do that? If you do, type in the word sales inside the comments because from Mr. Ching Yu himself, he will also be sharing with you his proprietary sales strategies. Plus, of course, everything that you personally need to know to be successful doing what we have done for a combined over 50 plus years. 50 plus years in combined experience individually, five here, 10 there, whatever, right? All these things that we have already done generated millions upon millions of dollars, and we're basically hand-holding hand you and handing over the blueprint over to you. Okay, so that's what our Protege Program 2022 is going to consist of. Pertaining to our program launch, the very, very first program right after today, okay, that you're going to be learning from, that you're going to be learning more about, is Professional Speaking Insider Secrets, which, by the way, is going to start again 
in about 12 hours from now. What this means is that you will not only learn, as you can see on the left side, right, professional speaking insider secrets, but, but combined, we're also going to give you a triple header. In addition to professional speaking insider secrets, we're also going to share with you leadership insider secrets as well as event organization insider secrets, at least just the fundamentals of it, because just so that you know, Mr. John, he is actually preparing a more advanced version of a maybe one, maybe two, maybe even longer version of an event seminar organization training where he's going to share with you A to Z exactly how you create your own multi-million dollar EO company, event organization company. Do you want to learn how to become a successful EO as well? If you do type in EO inside of the comments, okay, just stay tuned because all the stuff we will have a lot more in store for you as time goes on. But here's the thing. During this program launch, we'll give you the fundamentals as well as the basics of what you need to know in order for you to get started. Here is just a glimpse of the professional speaking insider secrets agenda that you will learn about tomorrow. For those of you who will be joining us in 10, in X minus 12 hours from now, all right? You'll learn leadership fundamentals of an organization, uh, logistics, basic skills of a platform speaker. You will learn my own personal best speaker formula, how I was able time after time after time being presented with the best speaker award across all walks of life in different parts of the world. What is that speaker? If you want to actually monetize with that, you'll also learn the psychology behind why people buy. If you want to be a little bit more strategic, some might call it even sneaky. I will also share with you the secret art of interpersonal NLP. I'll also share with you the ultimate million dollar selling blueprint plus a whole lot more. Now, of course, since we're less than about 12 hours away before we officially open up the room to welcome in our brand new protege students. The thing is, right now it is 9.45 p.m in local time for me right here right now. We're close to 10 p.m., which means that in about two hours time, it's gonna be tomorrow already. I know that previously, we've been talking to a few of you who right now are penning one or two last minute details to confirm whether or not you want to join us. I know also that we've had a few people who are joining us here today for the very first time, not knowing what to expect, hearing about the Protege program for the very, very first time and wondering what it is that you can do in order for you to convince yourself that this is the way to go for you as well. Here's something that I believe, if this is not something that you feel is worth all its weight in gold in terms of value, then the project opportunity is not for you. The community is not for you. I will go as far as to say, entrepreneurship is not for you. Why? Because this is literally my secret to a million dollar speaking business. Not one, but two, bis two bonuses. Number one, I will share with you the dissection of the seven figure pre-sale. Remember how I mentioned that you need to learn the art of edification, you need to learn the art of selling, how to do platform sales and maybe NLP and convincing and persuasion? Well, believe it or not, 80% or more of that happens before you even step your foot on stage. Is that crazy? If you think it's crazy, type in the word crazy inside of the comments. So no matter how good you think that you are at sales, if you don't do the right things, take the right steps even before that event, presentation, your delivery of your message even takes place in the first place, if that is not done correctly, you will not convert. I will go as far to say, you'll even fail. As a bonus for fast action takers who confirm with us tonight within the next two hours as a new member of our protege program, I will share with you a dissection of the seven figure pre-sale. But that's not all. As they say, but wait, there's more, right? 
I will also share with you the anatomy of a six-figure USD presentation where in less than 90 minutes time, less than 90 minutes because of the appropriate seven-figure pre-sale, which by the way, this seven-figure pre-sale strategy was responsible for millions upon millions of platform stage sales. USD, by the way, okay, a year. So with that, definitely the real deal. But in addition to that, I'll also share with you an actual presentation, not just the live recording of the actual presentation itself, but also broken down into the psychological breakdown of the strategies, what it is that I said, how I said it, why did I say it, right? Everything broken down, which resulted in less than 90 minutes, over $150,000 USD in sales just from the stage itself. And of course, after the presentation, after the 90 minutes with follow-ups, with calls and networking and things like that made even more into the hundreds of thousands additional. So are these bonuses valuable to you? If you find value in all these bonuses, type in bonuses inside the comments. So that's why I say, if by now you don't see any value in any of these bonuses, much less any of the opportunities that's being presented to you. I don't care, by the way, what your reason might be. You don't have time, you don't have money, you don't have what it takes, you're not knowledgeable enough, you don't have the confidence, blah, 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 right? To each his and her own, it's okay. You don't need to tell me why. I don't need to know why, all right? All I need to know are from those who are making that commitment despite the potential articles, the potential obstacles, the potential things that might be standing in your way. What you're doing is you're making hashtag no excuses. You are making no excuses because you're not letting your situation stop you. You're not letting your excuses stop you. You are doing it despite, in spite of what is designed to be standing in your way, but you fight through all of that, right? And you make sure that you become a part of our protege program right here today, which again, is your absolutely last chance to do it. Your absolute last chance. Keep in mind, successful people, they make decisions off of where they want to be. Unsuccessful people, they make decisions after existing and current situations. So I don't care if right now you say, I don't have the time, I don't have the commitment, I don't have the money, I don't have the X, Y, and Z. Your only call to action is to type in the word protege inside the comments and Ching Yu will talk to you personally to help you resolve any potential hardships that you may have. Now, moving on, as we mentioned, it's not just a matter of saying, hey, we have people already, so we're gonna be doing this with or without you. It's not just a market employee. It is absolutely true that we will be doing this with or without you because we are already doing this with the people that you see on the screen right now. So with all the people from Dylan to Nicholas to Mingru to George and Annie and Trader Rob and, and Karen, you would see that of course we have a rock solid team. Whether or not you choose to be a part of the protege program right here, right now, as your final chance to do so, it makes no difference to us. Just understand that it makes no difference to us. We are going to proceed into our projects with or without you. The only thing that I request that you do is to take a screenshot, perhaps. You remember, you network, you get to know each and every single one of the people that you see on the screen right now because they, they are our future success stories. Probably more than one of them is already well on their way to being the next success story as well. The only question is, will we be doing this with you or without you? Here's the deal. All of you are adults, right? Nobody's gonna put a gun to your head and say, you must join us, you must do this, but just know what you will be missing out on if you don't. Just know that together, while presented with the exact same opportunity as everybody else that you see on the stage right here, right now on this virtual stream, right? These are our future success stories. And right now, hashtag live, as I am speaking 
in front of you, there's still time. In terms of one hour or two hours from now, no more promises. All I know is that now is that time. So with that said, as you should know already, this starts tomorrow. It is not a fake sense of urgency. It is very real. We start tomorrow at 10 a.m. our time. And my goal for you is that, yes, I do want you to become a full-time internet earner. I want you to have the ability to make income online from affiliate marketing, e-commerce, more, together with us as partners, eventually accrue your own expertise to develop your own products and services to be sold online, thinking like a true winner and thinking about how to become that next success story. I want to invite you to engage in actual projects with us that will, make no mistake, they will go into the millions and millions in revenue. Do you want to cut in that? Well, that decision is up to you. And believe you me when I tell you that our model will remain the same. We will continue to spread value. We will continue to help others. We will continue to change lives. And we will do so together. Again, whether or not you want to be a part of that is 100% up to you. With all the different invitations, of opportunities that is available to you. Keep in mind that in addition to this platinum opportunity for you to partner with us, earlier today, not only did we talk about the Protege program, but we also talked about the Groove Asia Platinum Club as well. Keep in mind, this is only available for Groove Asia Platinum holders only, okay? So once you are a Platinum Club member, this is an exclusive VIP membership for you. Once you are a Groove Asia Platinum Lifetime Account Holder, before this offer expires on the 22nd of February, this means that you have an invitation to join us in a top level program that's valued at USD 100,000. The good news is that this is not due for you to make a decision until next Wednesday, right? The protege program, we need to make sure that you get in within the next two hours to qualify for our bonuses and within the next 12 hours because we officially start and by the time we start, it's gonna be officially too late. For this, there's an invitation for you to become a part of a private team where if you want to earn potential automated affiliate commissions, you will be able to do that as a member of the Platinum Club, which is again, only available if you are a Groove Asia Platinum account holder. So if you need to learn how to do that, I recommend that you reach out to one of our mentors, presumably Nicholas, because he's actually the one who sets up a lot of our, a lot of our affiliate commissions and our pages. And so when you upgrade today, what you'll get is not only an invitation to become a Platinum Lifetime member, but you'll actually more than double your Groove Asia affiliate commission. So in reality, if you also wanna be a protege member, if you want to work with us, even if you just wanna be an entrepreneur, promoting the Groove Asia product, making money on your own, it doesn't make sense for you to put in all that effort and only make 20% commissions, right? Because as free members, that's exactly what you get. You can start making money today if you wanted to at 20% commissions. But here's the thing. As a platinum member, you are grandfathered in for life for 40% tier one recurring as well as a tier two 10% as well. This is 50% grandfathered in as a lifetime member, which you're not going to be able to get potentially once we go monthly. Right? So with that, make sure that you keep in mind even if you have less than three, three sales, everything else is going to be pure profit because you would have broken even already. So with all of that, just know that the opportunity is right here. You also get, of course, the, the unlimited version of the entire software. I'm not going to go into all the different things that you get as a regular platinum member. Hopefully you should already know that by now, but if you don't, again, reach out to Mr. Nicholas. He will tell you exactly what it's all about. The most important thing is that you understand that right here, right now, your ability to join us will allow you to more than double your commissions and be a part of our club. All right, so with that,
the time is now and the place is right here for you to take final action on whatever it is that you plan to do. If you want to be a part of our Platinum Club, right, then your call to action is to upgrade your Groove Asia account. By the way, how many of you are already Groove Asia Platinum members? If you are, type in the word Platinum inside of the comments. Type in the word Platinum inside of the comments. Because for all of our Platinum members, Chanel, Nicholas, we got Sam and George, Annie, Michelle, all the comments are coming in so quickly, I can't even see them caring, right? The good news is that you already qualify for this automated commissions, automated team, automated projects, okay? My challenge to you as mentors, as leaders, is to share amongst each other. Make sure that you do your part to spread the value and let others know what they'll be missing out on if they don't upgrade into Platinum account, right? Because as leaders, it's our responsibility to make sure that our people do not miss out on these kinds of high potential opportunity, where in the end, I guarantee, I guarantee once you miss out on it, you will kick yourself. You will kick yourself. Why would you want to earn 20% when you can earn 40%? Why would you want to pay monthly on a software when you can get everything for one lifetime fee, right? Make a decision today that your future self will thank you for. So with that, I know that we are right on time. It is 9.59 p.m., all right? So whether or not we over-deliver in terms of time, I know that we over-delivered in terms of value. So with that, give yourselves a huge round of virtual applause for being here. I want to personally thank you for your time here with us. I want to appreciate you for spending your day, your afternoon, the middle of the night for some of you to be here to invest in yourself and your education. My encouragement to you is that even though I'm gonna wrap it up, we're gonna call it a day, okay? I still want to open it up for questions and answers. I want to invite you, if you have any questions about the Platinum Club, if you have any questions about the Protege program, if you have any questions about anything that we shared here today, I invite you to ask those questions inside of the comments. Ask them inside of the comments. And I want to encourage our mentors, especially our protégés, to start helping you answer those questions and get each and every single one of you on the right foot. And for those of you who is deserving, right, who is meant for, I want to make sure that within the next 12 hours, we see you again but this time for the official kickstart of our 2022 Protege program. So with that, give yourselves a huge round of virtual applause. Clap for yourself and make sure that you are, oh, thank you, thank you very much. No, please, please stay seated, please don't stand up. <laughs> but regardless, this is all for you. So I invite now for any one of you who want to continue to chat inside of the comments to continue to do so, because now is your opportunity to get any questions that you want answered. And with that, I want to thank you for your time. Take action right now. Let us know if you have any questions. And as always, we'll see you on the inside. Cheers, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.